May this message be God's message. In Jesus' name, <clears throat> amen. Uh, today's reading is from the 12th chapter of 2 Corinthians, verses 1 through 10. Go ahead and turn there. Chapter 12, 2 Corinthians, verse 1. I have to boast, even though it doesn't do any good. But I will now, and this is Paul talking, Paul's writing this letter. I have to boast, even though it doesn't do any good. But I will now talk about visions and revelations given me by my Lord. I know a certain Christian man who 14 years ago was snatched up to the highest heaven. I do not know whether this actually happened or whether he had a vision. Only God knows. I repeat, I know that this man snatched to paradise. Again, I do not know whether this actually happened or whether it was a vision. Only God knows. And there he heard things which cannot be put into words, things that human lips may not speak. So I will boast about this man, but I will not boast about myself, except the things that show how weak I am. If I wanted to boast, I would not be a fool because I would be telling the truth, but I will not boast because I do not want anyone to have a higher opinion of me than he has as a result of what he has seen me do and heard me say. But to keep me from being puffed up with pride, because of the many wonderful things I was given a painful physical ailment, which acts as Satan's messenger to beat me and keep me from being proud. Three times I prayed to the Lord and asked him to take it away. But his answer was, My grace is all you need. My power is greatest when you are weak. I am most happy then to be proud of my weakness in order to feel the protection of Christ's power over me. I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions and difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, I am strong. Something that uh, has been very applicable to my life. Yeah, you know, there's times when I've struggled uh, well, most often financially, but also in other matters. But yet, God was with me through the whole time, uh, sustaining me. And uh, that was God's work in me. I've always had a roof over my head and food on my plate. Now, some people may not be so fortunate. Some people are on the street. But, you know, there's, as long as they're still breathing... Uh, God has a plan for them, and, uh, you know, that's God's work that we see in their lives. Bottom line, um, you know, you may be living paycheck to paycheck, paying off a credit card rather than having money to uh, save for retirement or as spending money. Um, but, you know, God's getting you through. That's his work. Now, I'm not saying don't strive uh, to improve your way of life. Uh, just the opposite. Although, when you do, uh, be in prayer about it. Pray God's will above anything else. So, think about that in your times of health problems or financial problems or whatever other problems. May this message be a blessing to you, and to God be the glory. Amen.